It's summertime in Prizren. High temperatures are commonplace for this time of year in southern Kosovo, and most passers-by have taken refuge in the cool of their homes. The Miri family used this time to exchange comments on how the events of last week at school and work went. Jamal, the father, advises them not to forget to put their weekly offering into the collection box. The diocese distributed collection boxes to all the Catholic families in Kosovo. Myself and my children put a few coins into it every day, or whatever time of the year we can. In that way we are saving up a little by little. All Catholics have one for the cathedral fund. From a cultural, religious and political standpoint, the cathedral is one of the most significant constructions in Pristina, the capital city of Kosovo. Even though it's enveloped in scaffolding, we can already discern one of the most dominant buildings in this capital city of Europe's youngest state. The Republic of Kosovo is at the heart of the Balkan Peninsula. On 11,000 square meters, almost 2.5 million inhabitants live mostly Kosovan Albanians. On February 17, 2008, after centuries of Serbian and Turkish domination, Kosovo crowned its thorny and troubled history with blood-stained independence. It's the only European country in which 50% of its population is under 26 years of age. Although the Catholic community is a minority in this predominantly Muslim country, they still enjoy significant respect and authority. The Albanian Muslims think of the Catholics and their priests as the safeguards of Albanian identity and history. The Kosovan political powers endowed the Catholic Church in Kosovo with special recognition when they approved of the building of the Cathedral of Mother Teresa in Pristina. The reasons for this political support can be explained as follows by Jakub Krasnici, President of the Kosovan Parliament. The Catholic Church has a special place in our culture. Our earliest written documents in the Albanian language proceed from the Catholic Church. For example, the baptismal formula and the scriptures by John Bazuko. We can especially thank the Catholic and Orthodox churches, and later the Muslims for the fact that our national identity has been preserved. Although some of us have changed religions, we have not lost sight of that, nor are we ignorant of who our ancestors are. I think the values that we have here in Kosovo cannot be found anywhere else on earth. And that's because two faiths live side by side, under one roof, Catholic and Muslim. The building of the cathedral for the faithful and the priesthood in Kosovo is probably the most significant project in recent history. The project is managed by a council established for that purpose and is led by Bishop Dodd Jerji. The project of building a new cathedral isn't a recent one. The dream began a few decades back when its idea was first approved by the then Kosovan president Ibrahim Rugova and the then bishop Mark Sopi. Bishop Dodd Jerji has the opportunity of finishing this project. It's been cooking for a while in the hearts of the people inside the church. The new church movements of the 90s were also influential. It was an idea that came from many different angles, that the church should be present in the capital city and that it should really be done in the form of a cathedral. The idea of the cathedral and the Catholic Church is envisioned as a church of reconciliation, 
a church that unites as exemplified in the person of Mother Teresa, to whom the future church will be dedicated. Of all those who revere Blessed Mother Teresa, few actually know that she was originally an Albanian Kosovan, and that it was precisely her religious upbringing in her family that created the foundations out of which that great faith and humanity grew. The cathedral construction project was also approved by the Catholic charity Aid to the Church in Need. Its significant donation prompted the acceleration of this dream of the Kosovan Catholics, which has been developing over the centuries. Aid to the Church in Need has been the greatest support in this project. Thanks to good cooperation and the intensive contact, we've come to the point that Aid to the Church in Need is the central point of our project and our hope that it will be accomplished. With the help of this organisation, a friendship and an unbreakable tie with the Kosovan Catholic Church, which began as far back as 1961, was renewed and enforced. It was in fact in those years that the founder of Aid to the Church in Need, Father Winfred van Straten, went to stay with Mother Teresa in Calcutta. The fruit of that friendship is reflected in these foundations, but that friendship is symbolic of something immensely greater. When we hear that someone from abroad can help our church, we are very happy. People from Kosovo cannot build the cathedral on their own. The fact that others help us brings us great joy. The building of this cathedral cannot be fulfilled purely from the donations of organizations such as Aid to the Church in Need. The money for the construction of the cathedral comes from Albanian Catholics throughout the whole world. We embarked upon this project trusting in God's providence, the strength of our nation and the contributions of our people. We thought that the construction would take decades, but thanks to good cooperation and the contacts of our benefactors and our emigrants, we succeeded in the last two years to save up the necessary amount of money so that we could actually start on construction. Most Muslims are generally receptive to the idea of a Catholic cathedral. Unlike their neighbours in the Balkans, who sadly cannot boast of peaceful cohabitation between Islam and Christianity, the Albanians call one another brother, regardless of religion. This stance has led to a unique religious tolerance in the Balkans. The dean of the Islamic faculty in Pristina, Jamal Morina, shares his thoughts. We Muslims have no reason to protest against the building of a cathedral. In the centre of Pristina, a cathedral is being built, which doesn't disturb our city, but rather enriches it. It is a temple of Christianity, our original culture, and for this reason we accept it, and time will show what road Albanian people will turn. As you have seen, we underneath the church are building a Catholic centre where we will invite all the people of Pristina, not just Catholics, but all people of goodwill to come. Opening the doors of the new cathedral will let in a new light in the history chapters, not just for Kosovan Catholics, but to the Albanian people in general, regardless of religious tradition. I think that all Catholics, for those who are here and those who have gone abroad, it is a sign of hope. Although we are few and were scattered throughout the whole world, a symbol of community is being created, 
And I think we are building new foundations for our faith and our presence in the Albanian people.